voices of Tampa's past. She said, look, why don't you just walk with me? Maybe they won't attack you while I'm walking with you. Come to life in the USF Library's new Otis R. Anthony African Americans in Florida Oral History Project. It's stunning. I, I am a historical anthropologist, and so much of what I do depends on archives like this. The project contains almost 90 interviews of prominent Bay Area African Americans conducted in the late 1970s by a team led by community activist Otis R. Anthony. They were from various backgrounds and various walks of life, but they all had a rich story to tell about living through very difficult periods uh, in Tampa. If the child needed clothing, we always made sure to supply at least two new outfits along with the older clothing. Mr. Anthony made contact with USF, his alma mater, in the 1990s to help him share the collection with the public. I had all of these tapes, nearly a hundred tapes, they were sitting in my garage, can you believe it or not? And I said to myself, I have to get these out, they're rich, the world needs to see them. Now, after years of work on the tapes and transcripts, the world can see and hear these stories right on their computers. This is local history, and I know the local community is very proud of its history. But we're proud of the history and want that to be seen worldwide. For University Beats, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information on this University Beats or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.